What's up guys, it's Kaze here. So last night I just finished watching The Iron Claw directed by Sean Durkin. This is gonna be my non-spoiler review. It's a story about the Von Erichs and they're an iconic, probably the most iconic family wrestling history. So I wanted to watch it and just see. Also my coworker is a huge fan of the Von Erichs in general. He's just from that generation. So we constantly go back and forth and, and talk about it and things of that nature. So I, I was really enticed to just watch this movie. And and it was produced by A24. And I just love a lot of their movies, like Everything Everywhere All at Once. They also produced Uncut Gems, and they also produced Ex Machina. Now, these are movies that I could just watch, like, on repeat sometimes, just if I'm editing in the background. And if I'm really being honest, this movie may have made the rotation. I'm not going to lie. So, like I said, it's a non-spoiler review. I'm not going to go too much into the story. But I will say some hardcore fans may be disappointed. Imagine that. But for the most part, I feel like the movie's intentions were to give you a pretty good background on the Von Erichs, on their father's story, on their story, and primarily focus on the brothers. So there was a kayfabe brother that they did eventually have in real life that they did kind of leave out the story but it's not a movie killer like it's not enough for you to be like this is a bad movie it's still a really good movie the acting is actually super solid Zac Efron who was the lead role he played Kevin Von Erich actually did a great job I'm not gonna lie like he hit all the emotional parts like I actually felt the emotion he was feeling through the story and, and things like that like to me that made makes it a good story that makes it a good movie when I can feel the story as if it's my own or I can like actually get lost into a, the story that's the purpose of a story it's escapism so for me to like really feel I felt like I had five other brothers just watching this movie I don't have any brothers so this is crazy so over the years Zac Efron has actually in my in my opinion and my friends laugh still but he's changed my opinion of him as an actor at least you know what I mean like I've I've seen him in this movie I've seen him as Ted Bundy I think as he does more of these more serious roles and biopic roles it'll just show more of his range so I'm excited to see what Zac Efron could do in the future but as for this movie man just like understanding the father's I don't want to say failure their father's a legend in the business but their father never brought home the NWA championship. And that was a huge thing for him. Like he wanted that championship in his household. So in turn, since he never got it, he was able to harness that energy and same opportunity and give it to his sons just as long as they worked as hard as they could for it. And he instilled so much hard work in them. They were so like disciplined and just throughout the city, they're well known. Like everywhere they go, they're getting asked for autographs and things like that just within the town that they're from like they're legends within that area and then the movie shows you just how big they got and just like eventually they're touring with rick flair in, in tokyo so they get pretty well known so harris dickinson was actually amazing in this movie like he was probably the heart and soul of this movie it was awesome to see him um i've only ever seen him in the kingsman to be honest but Aside from that, seeing him in this, great. Like, it was absolutely great, and I'm willing to check out whatever he does next, just because. So, Hope McCollany actually killed this role. Man, he was so believable. Like, I really believe that he cared for these boys at some point. And he's also a character with layers that you don't necessarily see from the father figure in a lot of movies. Like, it's usually just one-sided. Oh, I want you to be this way. Like, he cared for his boys. He just didn't really know how else to show it, you know? Like, he, he wasn't able to really show it in a more affectionate way. He showed it through showing them success and helping them get there, training them, and things of that nature. So, so I don't want to say Fritz Bon Eric was a bad dad to any degree. I mean, his sons were some of the most successful guys of their era, maybe even of all time as far as popularity. So there's no denying his impact on his son's life. It's just there were times where he could have maybe handled his kids better. So the actress that played the mother her name is maura tierney i hope i'm pronouncing that right 
but super good like yeah she was super believable as a mom as well i think the casting choices were actually on point as far as like getting a good cast together they all had great chemistry you really believe that they were a family when they talk about their brothers they all smile with like they they smile as if they're talking about somebody they love so that's real cool to see that translate through the screen i would say for the entire movie zach efron probably the mvp of the whole movie and as he should be he's the lead role but the person who stole the show for me was jeremy allen white like he completely transformed his body for this one two he completely transformed from beginning of movie to end of movie he was not the same person he played carrie von eric and and carrie was actually training for the olympics before he did wrestling um but the u.s kind of pulled out of the olympics so he comes back home and begins training for wrestling he starts going on tour with his brothers it's a family-centered movie for sure like yeah there's no doubt about it and it really instills the fact that these guys had nobody but each other to lean on and it really shows so i have no idea why but i'm a huge fan of montages don't know why couldn't tell you but this movie had one and it just warmed my heart. I've not seen like a good montage in a minute. And then that also brings me to just the spots they were doing in the matches that they were uh, putting on. For the most part, like you can tell they were using some stunt guys for like any major spot. But like as far as the in ring, it seemed like they were putting on like practical matches for the most part. Like there are some times where they get slammed outside the ring and like on the concrete floor. And I would obviously that's when a stunt guy would come in. But when they were between the ropes like it's it was Zac Efron doing like a the headlocks the hip locks you know what I mean like running the ropes and actually taking like a shoulder tackle so much respect to these actors for actually being able to like train and and they were actually taking flat back bumps and that actually made me laugh because of the video I just made check it out by the way and there's just all types of nods to the wrestling industry throughout the movie that I think like the hardcore fans would actually like and I think like even casual fans would get some of these uh nods to the business for instance in the beginning of the movie the dad is wrestling a match and he does his finish you know they they celebrate and then after they're walking to the car and he surprises the family with a new car and he said um you know the promoter said if he wanted to be a star he's gotta you know look like one all throughout the town and that's actually how they used to be that's actually how things were like if you wanted to be known as a big star you had to drive around and be seen in a big car at this point kayfabe is the highest it's ever been it's the strongest it's ever been so so if fans see you around town in the flashy car they're definitely gonna buy into the fact that you're going down to the ring and you're handling your business so this movie also did another thing it sparked a conversation between me and some of my co-workers just about being too hard on your kids you know and ruling the house with an iron fist and just how healthy that could be for the child and i think that was really the true moral of the story as far as like what they were trying to portray to us now i do want to get into some negatives about the movie so a24 as a company they're probably one of the last few remaining people who actually put out mid-budget films like on average every movie that comes out today has a budget of like 100 million to 200 million like it's just a big blockbuster event um so these guys are like one of the few people who do the mid-budget you know like 60 to 80 million dollar range and they usually get a good return on investment because they're not spending as much to make still good quality movies they really focus on story more so huge giant effects and things of that nature so in turn you get more rewatches on your movie and that's kind of been their method thus far now i say all that to say there were some parts where mm, you can kind of tell the budget could have been better like for example sometimes the wigs these guys were wearing were a bit rough to say the least to be completely blunt with you at times it was a bit of an eyesore but not enough to completely take you out of the scene so i next want to talk about the pacing of the movie um and this is like super important at least to me because because that's 
more so how you keep attention and how you dictate what you want the audience to feel the pacing was pretty good like i feared it was gonna start off super slow and we we're gonna watch them like slowly grow up and then you know towards the end we might get some wrestling but like it was a legit wrestling movie like from beginning to literal end they kept the focus on family and wrestling this led to a few exposition dumps just like throughout the story where you're like okay they probably should have focused a bit more on that or just elaborated a bit more on that but like you find out a lot of information either during like dinner scenes or like just in random conversation versus like them actually showing these things the movie's a solid two hours like i think the official runtime was like two hours and five minutes but um for the most part like the pacing was more so it was action it was a lot of action it was a lot of uh high emotional and sh even shocking like moments you know what i mean so so apparently there was a lot of footage cut from this movie understandably so it was the runtime's already two hours but it's kind of shocking that they had even more to go off of like apparently mjf is in this movie and i say that because he's in the credits and if you google the movie he's gonna show up and maybe i either blinked too fast or his prosthetics was like on point but i do not recall seeing mjf i was actually super bummed out he wasn't in it um at least i didn't see it you know um there may be an extended version that comes out um and i'll look for it then but i did not see him and i actually saw that he commented on his scene being cut he and the director sean both agreed that the scene didn't really connect with the overall story it didn't really put too much attention on the von erics themselves and if that's true and he just took it like a champ then props to him like that i really respect that understanding the bigger picture and that the focus should be on the family and not necessarily outside of it although in my opinion i still feel like that is the family's history and it should be included for those of you who don't know mjf was supposed to play lance von eric and he's not related to them by blood he's more so the kayfabe brother of them when fritz von eric was wrestling he had a kayfabe brother so so they bring lance in as the newest von eric to hit the scene so as far as like the educational standpoint things i didn't know about the von eric i was pretty knowledgeable about their general story i didn't know the ins and outs like this kind of showed me more so what led to these things happening um in their lives and just with their family and then also like the outcome of what happened like kind of the repercussions of what happened and how they kind of had to move forward with all of the family tragedies that they've had so overall the movie had like very high impactful emotional moments as well as good action moments as well as good chemistry where it struggled was probably the budget on wigs like they did that boy rick flair dirty as far as his actor but i mean what are you gonna do and then the exposition dumps were kind of annoying because I, I did want to know more about the family like there's a few time jumps in the movie and they don't necessarily tell you what time it is or how much time has passed so you really got to just focus in on the conversation and be like oh okay this happened that year and and then kind of keep up with it that way um so that made it a bit confusing still not enough for me to not like the movie now aside from leaving mjf out they actually kept the story pretty true to how it happened in real life i feel like the reason they had these exposition dumps and cut a lot of these things out is because that i feel leaves a lot of more room for error so they kind of kept the story real compact and like to the point which i mean that's fine it did its intended purpose for me which was it caused conversation between me and my peers it also made me want to look more into the von erics and i could even do a whole video breaking down this movie and the real life matches that they portrayed in the movie so overall i would say i give this movie a solid seven out of ten it's definitely something you can watch with a family or even like chill with the guys and put this on it's literally wrestling and family so <laughs> the demographics are pretty clear would i rewatch the movie 
Yeah, probably. I'd watch it. I, I kind of want to show my friends this movie and, and just see what discussions we get from that. It's not my favorite A24 movie right now. My favorite movie in general is Everything Everywhere All at Once. Definitely go check it out if you haven't. It's a great movie. But yeah, I wanted to get this out to you guys relatively soon. Um, the movie like just recently came out within the last few weeks. And I know like a lot of people who actually saw that it was coming out, but they were on the fence about it. There's not a lot of promotion going on about it. Um, just this whole year in general with movies with the actor strike. But these guys put in a ton of work. Like you can tell just from start to finish, just these guys literally changed their physiques for this entire movie. Um, so yeah, give it a try. Give it a try. It's definitely a good movie. I don't have too many complaints about it. I saw it was coming out earlier this year and I was like, I knew I had to check it out. So yeah, guys, if you've seen it, let me know. I'd, I'd love to keep talking about the movie. It's actually something I'm interested in, just the overall topic. Whether you liked it or hate it, like, let me know why you hated it. Especially, let me know why you hated it. But let me know why you liked it as well. Also, if you liked the video, please like the video. If you guys want to see more, hit the sub button for me. Until next time, keep it kaze.